Okay, this is a new book that I'm currently narrating. I've been getting a lot of requests since the last video I made for uh, my Facebook page. This is a book called Annerfell that I'm currently narrating, and um, it's about Slavic tales of yore. I did the book, The, the Longbow, uh, the, the Highborn Long Walker, that's the name of it. And um, that one comes after these books. Why I got them in that order, I don't know, but sometimes it happens that way. Um, so if you've read that one first or listened to that one first, it kind of doesn't make sense until you listen to these two. But um, hopefully it will uh, make some sense, or hopefully you'll pick it up after you, you get these two. It's uh, two books here, Annerfell and then Hayashal, which, uh, which should be the next one uh, after this one. But I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to read some here and do some... Uh, what I'm talking about, this is uh, mostly Slavic tales, so they're going to be kind of Slavic-Russian voices, uh, accents. And let's see here. I'm going to record it while I do this. So we'll see if we can get uh, everything rolling at the same time. And if I make mistakes, I'll have to start over. Here we go. He turned on his heel once more, facing a dark shadow that suddenly appeared in the window. It had not been there a moment ago. How long before Isolde returns? Drass stepped out from behind the curtain, his voice hushed. Tiran took in his brother's wide nose and angled chin. He felt as if this was the first time he had gotten a good look at him since he had returned to Leerheim. He did his best to respond calmly, despite Drast's sudden appearance. He would have used Kodostvo to enter the room from the streets below. She will return momentarily. She is downstairs for a moment. Her aunt is going out with friends again, is she? It must be peaceful for the two of you to spend the day relaxing in the comfort of her chambers. Drast fingers tiptoed through the curtains, pulling them slightly and then letting them go to flutter against the draft. Don't try to play mind games with me, Drast. I am not one of your puppets, and you are not father. His brother's shoulders noticeably drooped, as if the words were stinging. His voice raised an octave, giving hint to how deep the statement struck. That is not my intention. Then why are you here? Tiran asked. Drast shot back. Why are you? I told you. Drast's hands patted his sides, and he interrupted with a growl. I know what you told me, and what you told Father Tiran. I also know the truth. Tiran ground his teeth. His brother whispering the words made them that much more dangerous. Does Father know? Drast postponed his response, as though the time past was reprisal for Tiran's deceit. No, father does not know that May Lily is still alive. Good. Tiran could not help but heave a sigh. He almost found himself relieved that Drast had spoken the truth of his lie, instead of forcing him to do it himself. That moment was short, once Tiran realized Drast was staring at him with the unasked question in his eyes. His brother shook his head. It is not for me to tell him, though you must know that if he learns of it, I will deny ever knowing, and if I ever cross paths with the woman, I will kill her. Tiran dipped his head. Fair enough. Listen, I am sorry. I should have said something, but I could not bear the truth of it, not even with myself. I am afraid that I still cannot. You are forgiven, so long as you know you never need to lie to me, Drast grinned. There are plenty of people in this life that I am forced to judge, by father or for the betterment of the Caligula Belt. I knew at some point I'd make a mistake. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is back up and redo that line. I'll hear it. You guys won't, but I'll hear it, and uh, I'll pick it up. It's called Punch and Roll. So here we go.
There are plenty of people in this life that I am forced to judge, by father or for the betterment of the Caligula bloodline. It is rather comforting that I don't need to judge you as well. I would ask that you don't lie to me, my brother, especially with information as significant as May Lily Cluck. Her being alive is an immediate threat, and one that I would rather know about now than discover as her dagger slides across my throat. And we'll end it there. So there you go. This is uh, Annerfell. Should be out uh, real soon. Hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching.